to start working. I kind of already started working. I already got my seat on, already did all the pre-trip and everything. Oh, I'm like halfway through my day, actually. Proceed to route. Let me go mute that. <clears throat> and let's connect to the, yeah. Right now we're gonna keep the music off for a bit. Hopefully you guys get a good view because there we go. And we're about to head out. I was at a rest stop. We well myself, I'm alone. But I had to grab myself some lunch. I'm a little bit hungry. I was a little bit hungry, so I stopped by. But we are on our way to Jamaica or Queens. Like basically the JFK airport. I got a load I gotta drop off and I gotta pick up another load. I gotta be there by like 5.45 I believe. This is, yeah, this is most likely my first video for this channel. I don't even know what name I'm gonna have this channel as, but yeah, it's gonna be the first video. And I know this GoPro I have right now is probably gonna die soon. But I have a charger, so I'm charging my phone right now. I need the GPS as well. All right, so like I said, this is some of the bad that comes with driving, the traffic, and people trying to cut you off and the merge and all that crazy stuff. It's very hectic, a little bit annoying sometimes, but it's not too bad. Traffic, you know, it's 4.38. It's a Sunday. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty good. It's not that bad. You should see it on Monday mornings and Tuesday mornings when I'm going through here. This is very, 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 very congested. Like you have to be ready just in case someone wants to just cut you off. Give yourself enough space, but not too much where you know everybody's just gonna keep cutting you off and like you're just gonna be stuck in one spot. Hope you guys can hear me but you guys are gonna see what i mean about the merge how they're not gonna let me merge and you just have to kind of like finesse it without you know causing any accidents because if not you're just gonna be stuck in one spot and you're not gonna get nowhere you're just gonna be parked literally everybody's gonna keep cutting you off like this guy on my right i don't know if you guys can see i can get behind him but then the other guy that just went around him He's not having it. He don't want me behind. He don't want me in front of him. So, <clears throat> yeah. A lot of people get overwhelmed. That there's not for everybody. Some people do get overwhelmed with this, especially when you're carrying a 53 footer. I can understand. There's sometimes days where I feel a little overwhelmed. Then there's days where you just like, you feel good. You feel confident. So, yeah, you just drive, you just be aware, look at your mirrors, give yourself, like I said, enough space in front of you in case an asshole wants to cut you off and you have enough time to break. Or if there's a sudden break, you have space to, to slow down. Yeah, the view over there in New York. Now this stop that I'm going to, I haven't been there probably two months. This is my second time going there. I pretty much kind of remember how to get in. I just don't like the area or like the, the streets. And it's not really like, I work for Amazon so the facilities for Amazon are pretty spacious. You have enough space to park. If you can't park in there, then I don't know what to tell you because you have enough space to do it. The one I'm going to right now is kind of small, which, I mean, as a truck driver, you get used to 
dealing with you know enough space to park or just enough space to park this location I'm going to is just enough to park it's not too bad but you do have to wait a while for your load to be ready so yeah we're gonna go right now I'll probably pick it back up well yeah pick it back up when we get there all right so yeah I just got to this other spot uh, I just want to check my battery on this but we have only 11% which I don't know if we're gonna be able to get I guess some videos of me parking we'll see we'll see all right so we got a parking dock door 35 so we're gonna see how we do but like you guys can see what I meant by you know the parking space is a little small but we're gonna make it we're gonna make it happen I hope <laughs> We're gonna see what's 35. Uh, it's gonna be a little tight, but as long as we can make this turn, yeah, as long as we can make this turn, and then it's got we have someone reversing, uh, we might be able to. We'll see. We did alright. I was trying to set myself up. I don't know if you guys probably I don't know if you guys kinda of understood what I was gonna to try to do, but it's not that bad. <laughs> Still try to do it like this. Pretty much on the money. All you gotta do, like I can kind of fix myself up from right here, but you know you could just pull forward a little bit, and there you go, you're straight. Honestly, not that bad. You know, it's a lot easier when you have more, like when you come from your driver's side instead of your blind side, but. As long as you can get it in as long as you park it that's kind of pretty much everybody has their own way there's no correct i mean there is correct ways but you know everybody does it differently so we go oh and then we hit it uh, all right after two hours of waiting be good to go. Pick these up. This one up. That should be good. I look funny with this hat, but who cares, honestly. This is a good workout. Alright. 
Is this one? Was it? Ah, down here. All right. Uh, I think that should give me enough clearance to close the doors. Look at that. Half half the trailer's full, so it's not too bad. Alright. Let's close this one up. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, I've been here long enough. <clears throat> to look at the lights just to make sure everything's good trailer you know make sure my mud flaps are there kick the tires a few times uh, it's not alive it's not good but yeah just kick <sighs> Yeah, you know, just make sure your side reflective lights are on, clearance lights are on. Pretty much good to go. Oh. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I love my Amazon. They have oh, this guy's driving without his lights on. But the good thing about Amazon, like you don't have to really like. I mean, you can buy your own GPS. It's kind of good to have it just in case you don't work. You know, you plan on going to a different location to work, like a different company. You should buy one. I should definitely buy one. But for now, I don't plan on leaving this company anytime soon so this pretty much works the reason why i have it like this like sideways and it doesn't rotate for some reason the app doesn't allow it but yeah i had a i have a phone mount that kind of like kind of broke so i have to buy one well i have to try to fix it with some gorilla glue gorilla glue and if not i'll just buy a new one i just haven't had the chance no, it hasn't been bothering me. I just have it like that. All right, so we are basically heading out of Queens. Um, I just thought I picked up the camera. Traffic is light. We are about to hop on the Barrasano Bridge. I hope my camera is like not crooked. I looked at it earlier when I was backing up. And it was pretty, you know, it was lopsided a little bit. So hopefully right now you guys can see pretty good what I'm seeing. But yeah.
pretty smooth. All right. So that's the door we have to park in, 308. Right now I'm gonna just open, break the seal off the back, back door. So that way I can open the doors and back into 308. So yeah, our company gives us this little tool. Just like that, breaks off. All right, let's open up this door. Struggling right there. And on this side. Alright, so this one. There we go. Oh. I messed up my camera view already. There we go. That should be good. I don't know. We'll see. This might be my last stop. Because they don't have any empties. So if they don't have any empties, they're just going to end up sending me back. Well, my dispatch is going to end up sending me back to my... Back to the yard, basically. Since they don't got any... Hold on, let me just double check and make sure my camera view is good before I back up. Just want you guys to see at least. All right, so let's see. This is a small Amazon as well. I wish I could have picked up the camera when I was at the bigger sites. You guys would have seen how much space you really do get. But mm, I mean, it's not hard though, so. Should be pretty good. Yeah, it should be. This should be good. My camera is straight. I'm trying to back up and make sure my camera view is good. There we go. yeah you can always double check to make sure you kind of like are good which I am so like I was trying to say like sometimes you get it on the first try you don't have to pull up like this time and then the spot before I had to pull up so and this is actually a smaller spot I don't know. It's just those days sometimes. But yeah, you just lower your landing gears. When I'm in a rush, I kind of do it like this. How you see me just and then if I'm going like this, for I'm just going slow. Yeah, that means I don't want to be here. 
but sorry. Uh, we'll get one more. And then you guys have no idea how hungry I am. And then just take these out. Put them back where they belong. I gotta get gloves too. So that way my hands will be getting dirty all the time. And with these trucks, these tractors, you don't have to go underneath and pull the, the release arm. The release arm. It's in here, so you could just so I'll show you right here. You hear that click? Well, I heard, I don't know if you guys were able to hear it. And then after that, you're pretty much good to go. I dropped the bags, so it's a lot smoother. It's like the, the trail can be already on the ground and I could just pull off. First, and then, yeah. So that, yeah, that's pretty much it nothing much more to it <clears throat> and then that's pretty much it I'm about to just pick this back up when we get to the yard and then show you guys my my post trip because I'm pretty sure pretty sure there's we're not gonna get any empties from here so yeah, I got bobtail proof, so <coughs> that means we get to go back to the yard. So I'll pick it up when I get to the yard so you guys can see the post trip and all that good stuff. And then, and yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I would go to the gym, but it's Sunday. My gym closes pretty early, close at nine. But tomorrow, they're 24 hours. So after work tomorrow, I'll show you guys, you know, my full regular schedule when I'm working you know from morning you know getting my breakfast get into the yard do my pre-trip and then going about my day with my stops and then after you know get back to the yard and then head to the gym because just you gotta chase the money but you also gotta make sure your health is good and you know a lot of people always give that not a negative comment but it's like a as a truck driver, when you start off as a truck driver, you're not, you're skinny or you're, you know, just normal weight. And then a lot of people let themselves go because they're always sitting and they're always eating and just driving. And then they become fat. So they just, people always tell me like, make sure you don't get fat. But I go to the gym. I make sure I try to work. Uh, you know, I, I have a good split schedule for my workouts for each muscle group. I do a little bit of cardio as well to try to keep myself from gaining that weight since this job is just basically sitting. You're not really doing any physical labor. So yeah, more on that tomorrow. So right now, let me just take a little break real quick and then head back to the yard. All right, so camera should be straight, I guess. That's my car right there, but I'm just gonna park this right now. Because I was supposed to fuel these. We're supposed to fuel the trucks after our trips, but what's it called? None of our fuels, none of our fuel truck, uh, fuel cars is working, so. None of our fuel uh, cars is working, so that's why I didn't get to show you guys fuel in this truck because it has my fuel car doesn't work. They have to get us new ones. So and I have to text them about this because this is basically oh, it's about to break. So 
Like, honestly, yeah, you won't even be able to. Yeah, you won't be able to turn that. That key is basically broken. So, I gotta report that to my dispatch. So that way they don't give me this truck tomorrow. Or if they do, to bring another spare key if they have. so yeah that's basically it that's uh that's it for today you guys can see all the tractors they have here like i said you don't have to report to anybody you come back you know empty out your air tanks you know the water and all that all water from the tanks and then yeah that's pretty much make sure the truck is good the way you got it in the morning and you just finish up or whatever you gotta do on your phone and then just log off and yeah you're ready to go home you get your 10 hours of rest, break period, break period, and then you come back tomorrow. But if you guys like the video, you guys want to see any other type of videos, or what do you guys want help with, or tips, or even questions you might have, or you just want to just see POVs without me talking and just seeing like the scenery or where I drive, just comment down below. Just give a like. Uh, I'm gonna be doing much more of these, and basically just kind of like showing you guys the life of a truck driver and you know pros and cons the things i'm able to afford being a truck driver i haven't met a truck driver for too long so don't think i got this car from trucking uh, i had this car way before um i started getting started even trying to get my cdl so but it is a good career i do recommend it but like i said guys thank you guys for watching uh stay safe out there on the roads don't text and drive. God bless everybody and have a good night. Peace.